the ball's near midfield, you go for it. But in this stage, at that part of the field, but like you said, it worked. And Mahomes picking up the first as he slides and hits the deck. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. A first down carry for Barkley. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. That sun's going to be a factor all game long. I'm not sure it made a difference on that one, but it's something to think about on all deep throws during this time of year. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. A give to Barkley out of the gun, and he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. That winds up being a four-yard loss and leads to fourth down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. NFL kickers nowadays, they make things look so easy because normally from this range, about two out of three. And this is not an easy kick. Yeah, 20 years ago, you get where he was in that 50 range, maybe a little over. And oh, it's a big kick. But... And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Deion Sanders. And the Pats are going to take possession of the football as they force the turnover on the opening drive. He's just got to be thinking, I hope that's not a harbinger of things to come. Very first pass of the afternoon picked. And where do you go from here? Because when you start that way, do you allow that to seep into you and stay with you the rest of the game? Or do you find a way out of it? We're going to find out. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. They'll have a first down past the 40. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Now, that was an inspirational scramble for a first down, all the while absorbing a big-time hit. Well, we know the guys in the huddle appreciate what he's doing. But how about the guys in the press box, the luxury boxes, the guy who signs his checks, and especially the main guy with the headset on the sideline? I'm not so sure they like that so much. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. Dancing to his left. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. That is caught by Moss for a New England touchdown. A great play there. 48 yards as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Oh, this is blocked. And after all that, they're going to start out with unbelievable field position on the return. Following the botch PAT, they're set to kick this one away. Oh, trying to gauge the sun, and he muffs it. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see. And this throw will be intercepted. Deion Sanders, the Hall of Famer, with a pick. And he'll get this back across the midfield, striping down to the 47-yard line. 
So they tried to take the deep shot there, but this defense up to the task. And a lot of times when you air a ball out like this, if it does get intercepted, there's going to be a lot of space out there to set up a return. And remember, you've got five big offensive linemen out there playing on their feet in open space. Not a skill most of them possess that allows for extra yardage on the return. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. What a run by one of the best to ever do it, Michael Vick. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. This time, the extra point up and good. And the lead now stands at 13. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Luke Keekley leading the surge there as he drops him for a loss of six. On play action, Allen eluding the pressure right. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. With nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job, CD. Got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. They'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Throwing is Allen on third. Forced out to his left. And that is incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move? And how about this, a fake? And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt, it doesn't work out, and the Patriots take over, and they're going to have terrific field position. Mahomes now on first down. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone, and that is caught, but he will come down out of bounds, says the side judge, incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes. He's going to go up top again. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. I've got a good friend in football, always talks about predictive history. He's got one of their two touchdowns. You can understand why they tried to find him again. Weren't able to connect, but the thought, that was good. the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. They missed a field goal earlier, so possibly as a result, that's why they're going to try to go for it here on fourth down. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. To throw, it's Mahomes looking for the end zone. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. Second and 10 now from the 27. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. 
Back to throw here. They're looking for Kittle, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Jets will take over here just shy of the 30. Well, Brandon, there's no question who they're going to look to on third and long, but you can bet this defense knows that as well, so they've got him blanketed downfield. And this ball winds up being intercepted. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Rolling to his right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I believe I'm following their logic. Take the big shot downfield, loosen things up. You're hoping to get some points on the board before the half. Maybe now you come back and throw some underneath stuff in order to make sure you get a completion. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Allen going to try and throw on third down. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he is going to have a Jets first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. To the air. Allen to the right side and complete to Jefferson. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. A final shot before half for Allen. Buying time to his left. And that is intercepted. Or was it? Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. A scramble for I think the Patriots may have got it. They did. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep it up. That is caught by Moss for a Patriots touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Patriots come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Brian Dawkins, the safety with a pick. And the Jets are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. And the Jets have got it. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it. It was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. A second and ten now. Third quarter action from Foxborough. On play action, Allen. Escaping the pressure right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Michael Strahan. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to air one out. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Shot. 